Hello everybody, this is an update on my Astrophytum cactus seeds which I had sown on the 4th of May 2020. Now only after four days I had signs of um, germination on the Astrophytum seeds. Today is the 10th, so it's six days later that I'm doing an update for you now because since then at the front of the propagator you can see I've also sown lots of other seeds as well. And also, I've sown the free packet of seeds which I got from the cactus shed back in October 2019. They harvest the seed in September. Then I've sown the seeds on the 5th of May. So these seeds have gone like wildfire. They have sprouted everywhere. It's absolutely crazy. They're like little tiny round green balls. I don't know if you can see them very well there. This one here is the Fralia castanea, the free seeds. And there was absolutely loads of seeds, but look at all those germinating seeds there. And you can see those fluffy white bits coming out of some of those there. That's actually normal for them to do that. You will get some seeds that look like they're mouldy, but actually it's beneficial mould. So the next seeds are Fralia schlinskiana. I harvest the seed pods off of my new cactus plant, which I'd got from the cactus shed as well. And I sowed these five days ago, and I've already got signs of germination on some of them there. Again, they look like little green balls. The next ones here are Fralia grayliana. These were also from the seeds which were attached to the cactus plant which I got from the cactus shed. The cactus shed is an online website, it's UK based and they have a fantastic supply of cactus plants and they're really good prices. Moving on to my astrophytum seed, so this one here is Astrophytum Capricorn and they actually started sprouting on day four but it's day 10 today which I'm filming this video and you can see I've got quite a few there in that bag this one here I'm really pleased about this one is Astrophytum Mysterious Variation Nudum there's quite a few in there that have started sprouting and they all pretty much look the same. They have this sort of like tall, slender look to start off with. Astrophytum Asterius. So we've got quite a few in there sprouting. There we go. And the Erogidoa pensiliata. Last year when I had sown these seeds, they were a little bit slow to germinate, but I did get two, but I'm hoping for more this time, so I'll let you know when they sprout. This is the Astrophytum mixture seeds. This is a mixture of true to type cactus, and you can see there's quite a lot in there, quite a lot that sprouted through. These are the Astrophytum ornatum, and I got two packets of those, so both of them have sprouted in both pots. The next one, Astrophytum coelents, there's quite a few in there that have sprouted. Astrophytum nivium, and look at all of those, loads in there. At first I saw this white stuff, as you can see there, but I thought, oh no, something's going to happen because it was spreading and it's absolutely caused no problems. But um, on this occasion, I didn't wash any of the seeds that I'd sown from these ones, which I, I do normally do. But on this occasion, I didn't. So, so far, I've had fantastic success with all of the Astrophytum seeds. I would say at least 50% of them have germinated, so that's really good. And I will say with my Fralia seeds, um, all along, along the front here, I did wash these in a weak bleach solution before I'd sown them, just to be on the safe side. 
and I did sprinkle them with cinnamon powder as well, just a very light dusting. Okay, so as the growth progresses or if any bad things happen, I shall update you. While I'm talking about my seedlings, um, I'll move on to my two year old cactus seedlings, which I have here in these two trays, just to show you how much growth they've put on. You can see how vibrant green they're looking now. And their spines are really beautiful. These were originally a packet of mixed cactus seed. And those little ones there, they've actually got a much bigger because they were so tiny. I'm not sure if they're a different variety to the larger ones nearby. And the other tray. that little tiny one there and there is one that's actually started to produce little um, offset sort of thing here it is just here you can see there it started to branch off on each side so that's quite funny at such a young age I'm not sure if that's what it naturally does or it's very strange cute so they're doing really well under my grow light here they like it and that's a mixture of red white and warm white and I did a unboxing video featuring this grow light so far I'm really pleased with it and I might get some more Okay then, thank you for watching. Bye.